Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Lashanti, and today I'm going to be doing a how to make a simple baddie aesthetic intro. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the post notification bell. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is click photos, and then you're going to want to make sure that you have your photos already picked out. And these are the photos that I have picked out. Now, as you can see, I have the background erased and I just decided to do an influencer Miss Nyla Nicole so you want to click the home button click the eraser app to erase your photos now you could do this with PixArt but I'm doing it with eraser so you would click your image and click erase the eraser app is pretty easy to use it's pretty self-explanatory to be honest um there's not much explaining to do with this app it's easy, you just control the width at the bottom. Of course, I'm putting directions up on the screen so you won't be confused as to what I'm doing. But yeah, I'm just making sure the width is not too small and not too big so it could come out how I want it. And yeah, making sure it's just clean. now click the done button then click share then you want to click save and it will ask you photo album you just click yes and then okay then i'm on bazaar and you click the plus button and then you want to go down to the bottom and click size and outline um so you want to just you know size it up to how you want it and bazaar has different outline colors so you could do whatever outline you want i'm doing white but whatever thing you decide to do, then this is um, the color and the size you would do it. So now I'm going to just size it up to how I want it. Because you want to size the image up at a good size. You don't want it to be too big. And there is a white dot at the top for some reason. And I did not take it off. So if you want to take the dot off when you do this, you would just go on the eraser app and erase it. So now once you're done saving it, go to um, photos and make sure that it's looking pretty good like you want it. And then you want to do the same thing for whatever other images you want to do. So I'm only going to do one more image and I thought I could put it on top, but you can't. You would have to start with a new photo and then you would do it. And I'm just going to repeat the same steps here. After done with that, we're going to go on to Pinterest to find a background and you could do whatever color you want because Pinterest has so many choices, but I'm searching up nude background. So yeah, and now they got so many choices, like I said, so you could just pick whichever one you want. Um, I'm looking for a light one and I think I like this one so I'm choosing this one you want to click the three dots at the corner and click download now you want to go to the app PixArt so now you would click grid but since I already have the app open when you first open the app it will actually have a purple plus at the bottom and then you will click that and then it will say create with all the choices you just saw so that's why um, it looked like that so now you would just click um, grid as you saw and I'm just picking photos um, I'm picking three so you could do how many you want but I decided to do three and basically I'm just scrolling to see what collage I want to choose and I decided to do the straight down simple one um, that's vertical so now you're going to click ratio and you're going to click 16.9 because that is the ratio for your video that you will need to do. So now once you're done, scroll to the bottom and click add photo. Now I'm going to click the um, image we saved off of Pinterest and size it up to fit the size of the photo. So 
So once you're done with that and done sizing up the photo, I'm going to just lower the opacity and you want to lower it to any opacity you want. I'm lowering it to 54 because I think that's a good opacity. So now you want to click next and you will just click save to photos. Now we're going to go to CapCut and click new project and then you can click photo and I'm just going to click the recent one, add, and you take off the ending. CapCut always does that for some reason. And then go to PixArt and then you will click done and click the plus button. That's what I was talking about earlier. And then it will say create. So you scroll to the bottom and click the transparent photo. Make sure you scroll all the way to the bottom and then save it to your photos. Now we're going to go to Fonto and we're going to click photo album and then click the plain image. Now it will be white. So select the white image, the most recent one, and then click done. And then it will say um, add text. And I'm just going to add my YouTube name or the influencer's YouTube name, which is Miss Nala Nicole. Now you want to click font once you're done with that. And they have so many fonts on um, Fonto. You can even download your own. I could make a video about that. Comment down below if you do. So now I'm just scrolling and trying to figure out how to pick um, what font I should pick. And I'm going to pick chunk 5. Then I'm going to click done. And now I'm just going to move it and size it up to the screen. Um, you don't have to size it up all the way to the screen because it really doesn't matter either way you can make it big but i recommend doing this so you won't have to size it up as much on the cap cut so now you're just going to make sure that um alpha's up high and click stroke so you could like add a background and you click whatever color you want to do and i'm just trying to um play around with the alpha and the width to how i like it so as you can see, I put the alpha at 94 and the width at 18. So now you're going to save the image as a PNG. Make sure you save it as a PNG. Um, so I already had an image on top of that, which didn't work out. So that's why you have to save it as a PNG, because if you don't, it will be like that. So now you click add overlay, um, which you would scroll to the bottom and just click overlay and then click add, which is pretty simple. And now I'm just, um, you know, sizing it up. Um, like I said, the directions will be on the side because I'm not that good at explaining. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory self once you go on the apps, though. But I'm just sizing it up to how I want it to fit. Now I'm adding an overlay, another overlay of a text. Now I did not show this, but basically what I did is I went on Fonto and I lowered the opacity, chose a different font, which will probably be up on the screen. Um, and then I um, didn't put a stroke and I also um, just, yeah, lowered it and made it a smaller size. So just so it could um be beside on below so it can look more classy and near so now i'm just scrolling and as you can see you click overlay again and now i'm just going to add over another overlay and i'm going to add one of my transparent images now i'm not doing the one we added on bazaar i'm adding the one that um i already did so if you want to pause the video go ahead and erase the background of your other images so i'm going to be choosing the one this is not the one i chose but you could just play around with it select whatever images fit for you um you don't have to do a brown theme like i said but this is just the theme i decided to choose so now i'm just choosing a different photo and i thought this photo fit better since there was already a photo like that in the background and now you just kind of want to size it up to how much you want and now you just want to make sure your um pictures line up at the same time it ends so now you're going to go back home and you're going to go to youtube 
and basically you're gonna search up um brown subscribe green screen now you could do this with any color youtube has tons of subscribe green screen buttons so you could just choose whichever one you want that's the one i chose so now you will go to photos and you will basically crop it and you know cut it to the one you want to use So now you want to click save video. Make sure you save video, not save as a new clip. So now you're going to go back to CapCut, click add overlay, and you're going to click the video you just saved to your phone. And now you're just going to put it and size it up to how you want it. <laughs> Okay, so once you're done with that, you want to copy it because this one was too short. Now, you might not have to do this if your clip is long, but if it doesn't fit to how you want it, then you will copy it. So now, basically, I'm just going to scroll to the bottom and I'm going to click chroma key. So, yeah, and then you click color picker and pick the um, brown or the background, whatever background you have for yours. And for I'm the intensity, I'm going to pick one. Now, you may not have to do this with yours. It depends on what subscribe button you pick. But if you're picking this one, I'll leave it in the link in the description below so you know which one I chose. But yeah, you basically just want to size it up to how you want. And I'm doing the same steps since I copied it. But like I said, you could skip ahead this part if, you, if your video is already, you know, um, long enough. Now for this, I'm going to go back to PixArt and basically you want to click the plus button and scroll all the way down to the transparent image. Now basically kind of already went step by step with this, but I'm going to look up an Instagram logo. Um, you could do this with any social media logo and you just want to search up the color. Now PixArt doesn't really have that many, um, you know, colors for the logos, but you could always like put a filter on it. But I'm just going to repeat the same process and yeah. So now we're going back to CapCut and now we're going to be clicking add overlay once again and now you're just going to add your social medias. Now I'm only going to add the Twitter and Instagram because for the screen recording for the phone thing. Now you if you're doing the Instagram screen recording then you don't you could just put the TikTok instead or whatever other social media but if you're doing a TikTok screen recording then you only want to put the social medias on that screen instead of not basically you don't want to put all your social medias on the screen you want to leave out the one that you're doing a screen recording on if that makes sense so right now i'm in photo just repeating the same process i repeat it at the beginning like i said there are um instructions on the screen as you can see so you just want to repeat the same exact process and yeah that you did in the beginning so now you're just going to add it and add it as an overlay and you just want to size it up to how you want. Um, you can make it big or small. I'm just sizing it up to here and this is how it looks. I'm going to add another one um, and yeah. So now when you're done, you're going to want to click the arrow in the corner and click export. Once it's done, you're back in Fonto and you want to do the um, PNG image. Now for this part, I showed the follow me process a few times, 
so if you want to skip ahead this part you can um for the second times i show it so now we're back in pix art once you're done doing the same process i showed you already um and now you just want to do the same collage like i said the reason why i went so quick with the um follow me in this collage is because i technically already showed you guys how to do it in the beginning of the video so basically you would just repeat the same process now i'm just going to repeat and add the same collage to cap cut now we're back in Fonto, and like I said, I did this process a few times, so you can really just skip ahead of this part. Um, this is my first editing video, so sorry if it's a little wonky, bear with me. There are instructions on the screen, so please just skip ahead. And I'm just going to add that overlay photo that I made with the um, Fonto. So first I'm going to add the video. You want to make sure you already have a screen recording video of the tiktok or instagram or whatever you page you're doing for the follow me and you want to add this first and if it's too long i'm just gonna cut it so and you could just speed it up if it's too long but yeah i'm just speeding it up and editing it to how i want click the overlay image and I'm gonna click an iPhone and to do this you basically repeat the steps that I did for the logos you would just um, search up iPhone XR or XS or whatever iPhone thing you want to do instead of searching up logo or anything you would just search up iPhone XR or something and repeat the same process So now I'm just watching it back to see, you know, you just basically want to watch it back and play around. So now we're back in Fonto and like I said, I did this process a few times. So like I said, you just kind of want to like skip ahead the parts. I'm going to be putting it up on the screen of what times to skip ahead since I kind of did this video a little weird. I don't know why I showed me doing this several times but this is the last time I showed but I guess this is good for if you didn't get it the first second time then this is good so I'm just saving it as a PNG make sure you save it as a PNG or else it's not gonna be right so you just want to put the follow me and click the overlay and I'm just sizing it up to how I want Once you're done with that, you want to add the overlay of the photos we did earlier of the outlines. So I'm just looking for them right now. And like I said, the white dot at the top, you could easily just erase that. But if you're fine with it, then you do not have to do that. So I'm just kind of like playing around with it so everything can kind of line up. So you can extend it, shorten it, basically do whatever. Um, like I said, the CapCut app is pretty easy to use. It's self-explanatory, to be honest. Um, pretty easy, but like I said, you would just extend and play around with it. Now I'm just going to add my other image as an overlay. And these are all overlays, the video and everything. So just make sure you put an overlay instead of clicking the plus button, the white plus button on the side, because then it's not going to turn out like you want it. So now once you're done, scroll down, click animation, and then you want to click in instead um and basically i'm just scrolling right now and looking for one and i clicked slide up um but you could do whatever one you want now you want to do 1.0 seconds and i did that for both of them Okay, 
so once you're done with that you want to do the same thing but you want to click the video in the phone so i'm clicking the phone and i'm doing swing and i'm doing 1.5 seconds for this one okay so actually i'm doing 1.30 seconds but i'm just adjusting it you can really do it to any seconds you want now i'm just doing the same thing for the phone and you want to make sure the phone in the video is the same exact animation so it can both line up at the same time as you can see because you don't want one to be off by even a second or it's going to look a little sloppy. So now I'm just kind of like playing around with it, cutting some parts out, and making sure everything lines up. You want to make sure it lines up at the same exact time, so it ends at the same exact time and begins at the same time, because then it's going to look a little sloppy, like I said. So just kind of play around with it until you get it to how you want it. You can make it longer if you want, but I kind of make the intro a little short. So now I'm basically done and I'm just going to click the arrow, export it, and I'm just going to save it. So now what you're going to want to do is click a new project. Then you're going to want to scroll down to your videos. And basically, first you want to go back to photos, not CapCut, I meant. Um, and you want to basically scroll and basically you want to have a video of yourself. So if it's if you've already started your YouTube channel, or even if you haven't and this is your first time making an intro just make sure you have like a video or something of you talking um you can even just take a few seconds now to just film yourself talking make sure the lighting is good and everything and yeah i'm basically just extending you don't want the video to be too long that you're doing you want it to be maybe about five seconds at least you definitely don't want it to be too long or it's going to take up your intro so now I'm going to add that picture over it and I basically just clicked overlay and scroll to photos and now I'm going to crop it to 16.9 and I'm just going to zoom in and size it and now we're going to click filter at the bottom and you will click actually it's called splice and then you will basically click the first one and lower the opacity which is pretty easy there's directions on the screen so yeah. Okay, so once you're done with that, you want to go to the YouTube app and do the same thing we did earlier. Um, just search up. You could keep the same color or do a different one. I just kept the brown subscribe button and clicked on a different video, which I'll leave in the link in the description down below. And now I'm just cropping it and doing the same exact process that I did before. Okay, so now we're going to go right back to CapCut once you're done with that and you're going to click overlay, add overlay and click the subscribe button and now you're just kind of going to size it up and at the bottom you would like extend it to how you want. Now we're going to scroll all the way down to the chroma key and do the color picker and you would cut the um, green and you don't want to do it 100% because as you can see it's not going to always show. Um, it depends on what video you chose. So now I'm just sizing it up to how I want. And I kind of like how it's sized up. So that's how I'm going to leave it. And basically I'm just going to click effects. And you want to scroll all the way down to bling. And now you're going to want to click pizzazz one. So it kind of gives like a cool effect to it. Now you can do whichever one you want. Um, CapCut has so many effects you can use. So just kind of play around with it. Now you're going to go back to effects and you're going to click um, texture and you're going to scroll auto. Actually, you're going to scroll back and you're going to click basic, not texture. And you're going to scroll down until you see blur 
and now it will be blurred out so people will be focusing on the subscribe but they'll also see you in the background so basically once you're done with that i'm just scrolling to the bottom and i'm just kind of you know playing around with it um you can add a filter to it but I didn't add a filter to mine. I decided not to. Um, make sure everything lines up the overlay. Sometimes you might have to, you know, size it up. As you can see, I had to size the um, picture that I put on top of it up. So you just want to make sure everything is sized up. The overlays and the um, effects. So now once you're done with that, you're going to export it to your um, gallery, then you click new project, then we're going to just add all the intros that we did, the um, increments of intros, put them together, and just um, see how it turned out. So it turned out pretty good, but I'm going to take the ending off. And now what I'm going to do is just kind of add an animation at the bottom just so it could be pretty cool. So you want to click in. They do have different ones. I had clicked combo by accident. That's why you saw that. But you want to make sure you click in and I'm clicking fade in and I'm just playing around with the seconds to see how long I want to do it. decided to choose 0.5 seconds but that's it for the intro i hope you like this video that's how you make the intro you will basically export it but make sure you like comment and subscribe and see you on my next video